Welcome everyone. If you own a Corvette with magnetic ride control, you may know that the Chevy dealer recently released an update. And if you were like me, you went to the Chevy dealer, asked them to update your car, and they didn't know what the heck you were talking about. So instead of getting my car updated by Chevy, I went to the aftermarket. And the aftermarket solution is this guy. This is a DSC Sport controller, and this controls your magnetic ride in your Corvette. Now, if you have a Corvette, you know there's five driving modes, and when we go to the track, we turn it onto the track mode, and that stiffens up the suspension, and it's fantastic because you can go back to tour on the drive home, and the car is nice and soft. So with this guy, it literally just goes in behind your fender. It's a very easy install. It's very noticeable right away. You plug it in, you start the car, and you drive it, and it feels like a Buick. The car, when you're just cruising down the street, is completely soft and supple, so it's soaking up all the bunks, so it's very comfortable. But as soon as you turn, as soon as you brake, as soon as you make an adjustment, it stiffens up the shocks, and the car handles fine, and so it's a dynamic system. It's completely mind-blowing when I'm used to spending thousands and thousands of dollars on these aftermarket coilovers. This is completely mind-blowing uh, because it's unlike anything I've ever experienced in the aftermarket. And so I love this car, I love taking it to the track, and I love it even more with the suspension controller because of the drive to and from the track now. It really makes it so you don't need to trailer a car. The car is so comfortable driving to the track and then so composed on the track, and I'm not getting out of the car to make adjustments. I'm, I'm simply turning a switch in my center console. So anyways, I went out to Button Willow to try it out and there's a lot more to this. I can actually hook up a laptop to the suspension controller and make adjustments to it, and I did not have a chance to do that. I'm really short on time, so literally all I did was plug this thing in and go out to the track. I ran into some issues with my brakes, but you can see how consistent the car was. It was like two minute lap times back to back to back to back. And so I'll put up five laps, 10 minutes worth of laps there, and you can just see how consistent the car is. All right, we're out here on I-5 doing a tire change in the middle of the freeway. There's Jake. And I got my camping chair right here. And the Corvette is back over there. And uh, we didn't come together, but we ended up stopping in a pretty close spot. All right. Traffic is finally moving. The time is now 6.30 a.m. I have to be in the driver's meeting by 8.20. So this is totally doable. Uh, I guess Ron's not running.
my uh, brakes have some deposits on them so they're shuddering a little bit when I'm in the braking zone there. So that's a little bit less than ideal. Felt okay there. NT01s are making a lot of noise here. They're not gripping all the way. I'm sliding off the track. Holy moly. Whoa! Wild ride there, guys. If you guys could be in the car, that was nuts. Tires are screeching. I got mismatched pads on here, so I'm not gonna be setting any lap records today. But, uh, wow, what a great car. You would have no idea that this thing weighed 3,400 pounds. It's unbelievable. So I don't really know what the uh, suspension controller is doing now, but I would like to tune it. Uh, there's a little too much oversteer with the way the car is set up right now. So I would like to get in there and uh, make some adjustments, play with it. I didn't bring a laptop out to the track because I'm really short on time, but I mean, the car feels great. It felt great before. What's, what's working against us now is the weather. That was nuts, man. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo! Oh my God. This is just a blast to drive this car. We're, we're just flying right now. It's, it's just beautiful. This is a really a great sports car. These NT01s like some slip. So I'm really sliding around these corners here. And oh boy, it is good. This is a great day. Started off terrible. This was a, a very poorly run track day. But boy, this is great. All right, brake fade. We got brake fade there. That's gonna hurt my lap time. But at the same time, I don't really care. I'm having too much fun. We're just out here doing fun laps at this point. We're not gonna set any records today, it's too hot. But I feel like I'm actually getting to know the uh, car now. The C7 was a uh, interesting car, for sure, for sure an interesting car. Just how to, how to turn in and everything. There's a lot of weight here, there's a lot of tires, there's a lot of power. Figuring out what to do with all this is a real uh, a real handful coming around there and slip slipping out like that is just something that is really special you're coming in there at a hundred and you're sideways <laughs> it's uh, it's nuts
Yeah, I really feel like I'm getting to know the Corvette now, which is great. Coming from these lower horsepower cars, it's completely different. Just completely different. All right, now we had some brake fade here, so I gotta make sure I have brakes before I go into that braking zone. Whoa. This thing just keeps going. <laughs> oh man, these tires are uh, fun. Not a whole lot of grip. Not as much as a slick, but uh, man, it's fun. That was really nice of that guy to let me buy there. Let me maintain some speed through this. Ooh, ah! Oh, I missed that. We're gonna go off here. All right. All right, I'm going a little bit slower here. That requires a lot of energy when you're going sideways through those turns. Oh shit. All right. I wanted to let that guy by. That guy came up super fast. So I pulled over for that guy. <laughs> Much faster than I'm going. Whoa. This is great. This makes up for all the bad stuff that happened in the beginning of the day. This is just, this is just pure driving bliss. This is why I come out here just to do this and get lost in the drive. Looks like we're running about a two minute lap time. Uh, the biggest issue I'm having right now is the brake or shuttering. I think it's the stop tech pads in the back. I usually don't have a problem with them, but maybe the compound changed or something and it's uh, causing some buildup on my rotors. 